Hi my friends, today we model this part. It seems to be a sheet metal part but there are some uh, features and I didn't use the sheet metal template but the normal template. The name is closing flap and the drawing is here. We start by creating this contour, then the other one. Dimensions are here 28, 61, don't forget 30, 2.6 is the thickness, 21.1 is for the other, and also these two for the, uh, the other feature. 7.3 and 12.5 are uh, these two arcs and 4 is the cut. You see 2.6 is here, 2.6 is here and the difference divided by 2 is also 2.6. So let's start. New standard millimeters IPT XY plane and we draw two circles concentric circles 12.5 and 7.3 then I draw a line starting from here up I keep press the left button I go here, then tangent, then horizontal, up of 2.6, the thickness of this uh, object. I apply radius of 10 here, angle of 5 degrees between these two this is uh, this distance to here is 61 this is 30 and this distance is 28 Good. Then I draw a line starting from here going somewhere. I hover this to be parallel. As you can see, I keep press the left button. I go to find the vertical then I go here. This is perpendicular on this. I apply tangent between these two. Then uh, the dimension of 2.6. You see this is not vertical. Vertical for this then I apply 2.6 distance between these two 2.6 the same thickness like the other one coincident between these two points and now I place on the same horizontal these two endpoints. We have a fully constrained sketch. Uh, 
Okay, I apply split of this circle because I want to make this construction. Okay, finish sketch, extrude. This is uh, the selection, not internal circle, symmetrical on 65. Good. That uh, 65 is here. Then we apply a cut here. Take a look of this 10 and this 30. I select this face. I project this generator and I draw a rectangle between this two verticals. I place on the same horizontal this center point with this center point. Dimension here is 10. The same is here of course. Extrude with cut through all. Okay. Now I have to create this uh, flange. Dimensions are here. Radius 34 external, 31.4 the other, and uh, 21 point one for this end line. Let's do this. We use the plane XY to create a new sketch F7. I draw some lines here. This sloped line is one and the other is this one. We use also line tool. We keep press the left button and we draw an arc. You see? To somewhere here, no problem. This uh, arc is uh, 31.4 and this distance to up is 21.1 the other arc then I apply offset of this arc to somewhere I place here the dimension of uh, 34. I draw a horizontal line here. Then I apply extend to place this to the line. Then I ex also extend this to the line. And I cut, I trim this extension. Now we have a fully constrained sketch. Finish sketch, extrude. We select this and this. Symmetrical on 28. Okay. You see? how it looks. Then you see here radius 5 when you take a look from this direction this is a fillet. So 
we use this line horizontal to apply fillet of five to both edges okay another fillet is this one of radius 15 I select this I apply fillet and 15 to both ends okay now I suppose the part is finished there is a cut here four millimeters and we must uh, create this cut I select this face for a new sketch then a rectangle with uh, that dimension of four I place it with this center to the center and tangent to this external circle finish sketch extrude we select the full rectangle all the way through the part as you can see okay now I see that this line is longer than this let's measure M from measure this line is 10 millimeters this line is not 10 millimeters ow but we use a parametric software and we can go back to the history this is you see this is not fully constrained sketch double click and let me see I eliminate this line I move this outside this is not important and I place on the same horizontal the mid point of this with the center point now they are 10 millimeters both let me verify yes 10 now I project this generator and I make it collinear with this now we have a fully constrained sketch my friends okay now we can verify the volume I properties physical update copy close drawing double click and the new value is this one there is a difference but uh, you have to accept what we did here we go to the material steel carbon then uh, view default lights and we have the object that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye